All right, so we want the web of our hand right here, that little loose piece of skin to go as high as you possibly can on the back strap, all the way up. And this little curve portion is called the tang, mm -hmm. not the orange drink we had as kids, right? But it's the tang, right? Like yeah. the, where metal meets a blade, the blade meets a handle and a, and a knife. Mm -hmm. So we're going all the way up in there, right? So as high as we can get it to go without coming over top. If we come over top, what could happen? Mm -hmm. We get, get yeah. a little cut, get a little pinch, right? So high as we can in the back, thumb goes way up in the air and then this goes way over here like this and see how my hands are fitting together like puzzle pieces mm -hmm. notice how all the weight of my hands is up high on the pistol frame yes sir if i put my thumbs together where'd all the weight go to the back all the way down low right so mm -hmm. we want to minimize the recoil by putting all the weight at the top yes sir all right all my skin is going to touch this whole part of the frame right all that skin is going to touch there and we're actually clamping down in the back and if i can get a little bit of my muscle on the back strap with my support hand that's going to help a whole lot so when it kicks we're gonna ride the recoil instead of having the gun separate our hands like this, which is what a lot of people end up doing. Understood. Sound pretty good. One other thing to look for is that your thumb and your trigger finger are on line with each other. Mm -hmm. So thumb and trigger finger on line, no gap right here and no gap between our hands right here. And then we just have the trick is that through that point, just putting the pressure where we need it in order to hold that recoil. Understood. To minimize it. Sound pretty good? I feel smarter, man. Good.